Hello everyone, it's Beef here again. In this video we wanted to do some testing based on some information which was floating around the community. The network bubble for players in Daisy standalone has always been a thousand meters, or I have always assumed it to be a thousand meters. But recently on Reddit, uh, a Redditor posted an image of him supposedly looking at his friend who was 1300 meters away. Now this led to quite a lot of suspicion that the network bubble had been increased in 0.61. So myself, uh, my good friends Ogek and Mad McArdle decided to head to the airfield on our uh, private server, which the details are below if you'd like to come and join. We felt that the airfield was probably the best place to test this because we needed to get a thousand meters away and we wanted somewhere that was flat so we weren't taking into account any sort of elevation differences. So what we decided to do was my colleagues would stand at the southeastern side of the airfield and I would work my way up the central runway to around about a thousand meters then we would test when my character popped in and out of existence. For clarification we ensured that the view distances in the config file were well above what was required. MAD was well over 2000 with a very high scene complexity so not, that shouldn't have been an issue. So to the results now. What we found was actually quite interesting. When you were approaching another player, your avatar on screen would pop into existence at almost exactly 1000 meters. So I'll repeat that. When you're approaching a player, your avatar pops into existence at 1000 meters. Now the interesting thing is that when you're going away from a player, we were discovering that I was disappearing on their screens at around about 1100 meters. So as you can see from the map here, 1000 meters was almost exactly in line with this barracks which I'm looking at now and 1100 meters was almost exactly in line with this little electricity box and the little tower in between the two hangars on the northeast side of the airfield. Now we did consider the fact that it was reasonably foggy at that range so the, the popping out of existence at 1100 meters when you are leaving an area it may have been the fogginess which was resulting in my character disappearing. So I think we want to return on a, a very clear day to see if we can see any further. But my colleagues were, were, were thinking that it was definitely my character popping out of existence. It wasn't as if the fog was obscuring my character eventually. Now the other thing while we were here is we had just found a tent and we wanted to test the view distance when the tents disappear and reappear. Now the interesting thing with the tent and with the actual normal characters disappearing at a thousand or one thousand one hundred meters is that as you back away from the tent it doesn't disappear instantly. It seems to disappear at 165 meters. Then again once you go towards it it'll appear at 150 meters. So my good friend Man McArdle was postulating perhaps as a 10% buffer in between these kind of calculations in Daisy. As you leave an area, perhaps it takes the view distance plus 10% to de-render that object. For instance, if I'm running away from someone, I'll be a thousand meters plus 10%, which is 1,100 meters before my character disappears. If you're backing away from the tent, it'll be 165 meters before it disappears. But if you're approaching an object, it won't start rendering until 150 meters as it is for the tent or a thousand meters as it is for players. So that's interesting to know um, and I think it still holds that the render distance is a thousand meters for players. Thanks very much for watching this video. Bye bye.